Hello beautiful people, shalom money makers. Will today be a funky Friday in a good way? <laughs> Not a funky smell, but a, a good funky um, with PCE numbers coming in in just a few hours. The crypto market has heated up a little bit, Bitcoin breaking over a little bit of resistance that it has seen in the past few days. Um, we'll talk about that. Plus something that Google decided to do that it hadn't done before for the crypto market. And we're going to talk about a, something that I warned you about. I talked about this multiple times. I made a few videos about this and my worst fear came true and I was right and i'll tell you what i was right about and why i will continue on the path that i am currently on um a lot of you have been making a lot of jokes about my sunglasses <laughs> some of you said i should uh, do uh, arnold schwarzenegger um impersonations <laughs> ray charles uh, impersonations right georgia georgia I keep you on my mind. <laughs> um, but no, we're not. That's that's the last of my bad singing you're going to hear for now. Let's get into it. So currently we're seeing Bitcoin at 40,819. You can see in the past hour, we have seen some liquidity come into the market. This could be anticipation for the PCE numbers. Maybe someone knows something. Maybe uh, Grayscale is done selling. You know, uh, we've, we've looked at this uh, Grayscale dumping, miners dumping, some whales are dumping, Mt. Gox is planning to dump, US government is planning to dump. This is what peak FUD looks like. And yet we are still at 40,000, right? If you would have asked a few months ago, would we want to be at 40,000 prior to Bitcoin having? We'd be like, yes, of course, right? Also, the stochastic full here on the Bitcoin chart is telling us that we are prime meat for a reversal, um, you know, a good steak, prime meat, <laughs> and we are seeing it come into the normal zone. But again, this little pop here, if the PC numbers come in, uh, you know, uh, strong, you know, in a bad way, uh, high, which means that there is high inflation, um, then we could see a switch around. So you might be watching this video in a few hours and you're like, Avi, the market fell back down. Yes. Okay. This is a possibility. Sometimes news trumps a little bit of the momentum. We are seeing uh, Bitcoin up 2.2%. We're seeing Shiba Inu over uh, at the 900 level again, uh, which we can see they uh, just kicking over the resistance level here at 898 be interesting to see how it uh, deals with this and if shiba inu is able to uh reclaim the 900 level you can see also uh shiba inu is at the bottom of the stochastic full uh, and now coming back here uh, from the bottom so it'd be interesting to see uh where we go from here uh avax up around five percent uh soul up around five percent so things are getting froggy here in the altcoin market uh, and it will be interesting you can see things are starting to move uh and so liquidity is coming back are, is the did the selling uh, finish uh, or is it just, uh, you know, some uh, liquidity that's coming back into the altcoin market plus into Bitcoin and moving everything uh, this morning prior to the PCE uh, announcement, which is going to happen in, I think, two hours, right? So, so yeah, 3.30, 8.30 a.m. is 3.30 my time and it's 1.00. 15 now so yeah two hours uh, so it'll be interesting to see what happens here uh with the crypto market you can see in general two percent up here uh today and so i want to see the levels breaking uh, you know i want to see uh bitcoin getting back of course over this forty-two thousand level and then we can start talking about you know moving upward right shwaya shwaya slowly slowly let's see you know we've seen fake outs before we've seen people get excited about a two three percent pop and suddenly you're going to see the whole internet uh singing the don't you know pump it up song right <laughs> but we're, we're not there just yet very interesting uh news google will allow bitcoin and crypto etf ads from the 29th of january 2024 Hashtag bullish. Uh, if you if you have it, you, most of you maybe have ad blockers and things like that. Um, so I don't know if you'll see it, but uh, there's been a, this uh, slew of um, on YouTube um, these uh, kind of scam videos where it looks like uh, people from the crypto uh, universe. It could be Michael Burry, it could be uh, the CEO of Ripple, CEO of um, of other places. 
Um, and it's like AI dub, don't click on any links, don't push on anything. Um, if you, by the way, if you're watching the ads and you get like an, a long ad, uh, if you watch it up to 31 seconds, then I'll get a little bit of a change on it. If you skip it, then nothing for me. So if you want to help out the channel, uh, I don't charge anything here on the channel. And we'll talk about uh, something in just a second that I also don't do uh, that I hope you appreciate. <laughs> um, and so if you want to help out the channel in that way, I appreciate it. <clears throat> Um, be careful. There's another scam out there. Algorand founder X account hacked. Be careful. So if you see any kind of, uh, people saying they'll give away Ethereum or they'll give away something, if you click this link, right? If it's, it's Mr. Beast saying you'll get $25,000 if you retweet his tweet, retweet it. Right? <laughs> it became the most retweeted tweet ever, right? But if they say click on this, don't do it. It's not worth it. You're going to get all your money taken from you, right? And that's very, very important. Now, if you remember, a few days ago, uh, there was a meme coin or a small cap crypto that IDO'd, right? Initial uh, DEX offering. And it went bananas, right? It went up thousands of percent. And the people that, you know, were in, in the... It came out on Ape Terminal. The people that had like... A, uh, the initial uh, seed right in the in the token made a lot of money and influencers were pushing it and they were pumping it and it went up uh, a significant amount right and at the time I made a video about the fact that listen uh, my friends I get offered all these uh, tokens and all these projects and I decline all of them right and I want to warn you about that project, and I didn't say its name, I'm not going to say its name now, right? Uh, but I warned you and I said, listen, when all these influencers are pumping it, and it was all over Twitter, every single place on Twitter, I saw, hey, this, I, I told you this was going to explode, I told you this was going to explode. What happens? Of course, what I predicted. Apparently, there was some kind of shenanigans that were happening there. Um, there was some kind of, we, it's not clear exactly if it's the, the founders of the token or the terminal, the ape terminal, but it smells bad, right? And now it dropped over 80% from the high, right? Uh, and it can keep on dipping. And Benjamin tweeted out here, same old, same old. A new altcoin is created. Influencers are given allocation in that altcoin. Those influencers are told to shill it everywhere. As you are buying, the influencer slash team dump their bags on you and your followers are not your exit liquidity, right? This is the main reason why I do not promote any tokens because I do not want you guys to be my exit liquidity. And even so, right, even if I don't get paid in uh, tokens, but I get paid in hard cold USDT or in cash or I don't, I don't think cash, but... <laughs> Um, I wouldn't be able to sleep at night knowing that there's a possibility that you are going to buy the tip of that project and then it's going to, uh, <clears throat> it's going to fall 80 or 90%. Most likely, right, when uh, all these people are pushing these, these tokens, it goes up for a day or two, it goes up 100, 200%, but you probably invested 100 bucks, 200 bucks, maybe 1,000 bucks, and it goes up 100%, 200%, you're like, I'm not going to sell this, right? I'm going to wait until it goes to the moon, right? These influencers are telling me that it's going to pump pump all the way to the moon. It's going to 200x. What happens most of the time? You don't sell and it goes down 80, 90%, right? And so that's why I, I don't promote any of these tokens. I'm not going to promote any of these tokens. I'm leaving a lot of money on the table, believe me. Uh, you know, uh, but I, I just, just, you see this kind of... Uh, case here with this, uh, with this asset. Um, and, and, um, and this is how it's, <clears throat> Benjamin says here, how do I know all of this? I get approached several times each day by projects wanting to pay me to promote their coin. Same thing here, right? I just say no or ignore them. Usually a few days later, I see other influence promote, influencers promote that coin. Then a few days later, it goes to zero. I know a lot of you hate me because of uh, his Bitcoin dominance views, but the people you hold up as heroes are not your friends. They shill scams relentlessly because they are paid to do so. They act like they deserve to be paid six figures for making a few tweets. 
I'm not suggesting that all alts, scam, all alts are scams. I think there are a few projects that have good motives and are trying to make the space better, but it's easy to lose sight of all in midst of the filth. This is why once you're here for one to two cycles, you will focus mostly on Bitcoin. Um, and you can see here what the, what the token name is, but I'm, again, I'm not going to, to say it. I'm not going to mention it. I'm not going to help promote it uh, further, right? Uh, and so it'll be interesting to see as we continue to go forward and forward, there's always going to be scammers out there. There's always going to be influencers that are looking to make money off your back. Um, people might say, well, Avi, you make the YouTube videos and you're making money. Yes, this is this is my job uh, and, uh, and I enjoy it and I enjoy conversation with you and, and, I, and enjoy uh, talking about the markets, uh, but I'm never going to push onto you to buy, to sell, to hold any single asset. Right. Uh, this is sometimes I'll tell you maybe what I'm doing, but I don't know what your current situation is. I don't know your risk uh, spectrum. And that's why we can talk about the news. I can make jokes. Right. Sometimes like the, the video last night where uh, where Kramer uh, went uh, fully uh, bearish and uh, I said that the bull market is starting. Right. And what happened the next day? Things went up. You see, I was right again. <laughs> um, and so just just, you know, um, I'm not looking for any uh, gold stars here, but um, I appreciate that you guys keep supporting me and keep coming back. And you know that I'm not going to shill you some, uh, you know, uh, uh, SpongeBob coin or something like that. Um, so it is what it is. Maybe that SpongeBob coin goes up uh, 500, 600, 700 percent. Um, but I can't, I can't take that risk. Just you know, in in my heart of hearts, right? Yes, you know, Shiba Inu is down a lot. Other assets that we've talked about are down a lot, but it's not a three day, four day, uh, you know, liquidity drop or rug pull or pump and dump, right? It's a totally different scenario. Uh, and yes, some assets will go up, some assets will go down. People are more interested in the assets that could potentially go up significantly. This is just how it is. They're not interested if I talk about Apple stock all day or about Nvidia, right? Maybe they would. Be. Or there, actually, I want to talk more about uh, Bitcoin, uh, but uh, so I talk about it, you know, in in the videos. And those of you who have been watching lately know this. Um, we're talking about other assets too, Solana, Avax, <clears throat> and more, right? Uh, that are Ethereum, um, and, and because you need diversification in your portfolio. And Shiba Inu also is a top twenty crypto. Okay. It's very, very important to, to remember things are going to go down and things are going to go up in the crypto market. It's all a part of the journey, but there's a big difference between a $5 billion market cap and a $50 million market cap. So remember that. Don't forget to smash the like button. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. And like I always say, let's make a lot of money.